Hey guys, Cameron from Louisiana Bass Boys. Just come to you with a video of my tackle box. What's in my tackle box? Um, it. Also, next week to week and a half, we should be posting another video of our new rods and reels that we got for our birthday. Uh, cause my birthday is March thirtieth. Luke's is the thirty first. So we both got new rods and reels, and we're real excited about them. Ready to go try them out. We should be able to get more videos up over the Easter break, which is next week. So we're going to be trying our hardest to catch fish, show them to you. And this girl right here who's like psycho and she won't chill out is my sister. Her name's Carmen. She's eight years old. No, she is not a member of the Louisiana Bass Boys. But, uh, so here we go. In the front pouch of my tackle box, we got front pouch, side pouch, top pouch, that side pouch. Alright, but in the front pouch, we have my crap dropped out. Terminal tackle. Um, basic all around hook I use just for everything worms, brush, all on I know it's small, but it's an all around hook. I like it. It fits pretty decent. Well, it's small for some baits, I should say. Is the. It's a. Laser sharp. Laser shot, three eye, and another one I use for like the smaller baits is I don't know what it is. Bought them a long time ago. Never really paid attention to the label, but this is a size comparison. I mean, if you have any idea what that is, post it in the comments. Maybe after you, and then I have my one fourth ounce. Bullet weights, basic lead weights that you use for just fishing, wherever. Then I have my tungsten, half ounce. And I have just a couple swim baits in here that I cut off my line and just didn't feel like opening up the tackle box and put them in. So they're three inches, three inch swim baits. Got those. Then I got my spinners. Well, I have a three three wing uh buzz bait. Things made by actually I don't know who it's made by. If you can guess who it's made by, congratulations. Then I have a uh booya spinner bait with a Wave worm grub, pretty nice. I like it. Works worked well. Then I have a black and blue H two O Express, and the trailer I like to use for that is a white double tail grub. It works pretty well. I like it. All right, so moving on to the side pouch. In the side pouch, I have pliers pliers and more pliers. Uh, I'm always going to have pliers. Then I have a box cutter. Cuts braid really well. So basically my side pouch is just my equipment pouch I guess you could say. Something like that. And now moving on to the interior. I have three of these boxes, like this, inside this box, I have a whatever kind of frog this is, it's a H2O Express frog, it works just as well as any other one, real balance in the water, whatever, and I have a bunch of Hard baits. Well, not a bunch, but that's the only hard baits I actually have. And most of them, all of them except this one and the popper. All of them except those two came out of my dad's tackle box. So, I mean, oh, and this 
rattle trap. Got it from my uncle for Christmas. I got that and a gift card and some other stuff. Then I have Zoom. Better than salt. Big Zoom tube. In green pumpkin. And I have their tube in white ice. Both colors work really well. Like them. And I have a uh, Stanley Ribbit Frogs White. Only color I like to fish is white. I don't know why. Just get more bites on the white than any other color. And I definitely recommend if you get if you want to frog fish, I recommend you get the Stanley because I just think they are way better than any other frogs. And definitely get the floaters because, I mean, it just helps out a lot. Then this is basically my... Finesse Worms slash Shaky Head. Well, basically Shaky Head. Tackle Box. Super Salt Plus Finesse Worms from Zoom. In Zoom Bug. Then I have more Finesse Worms and Smoke and Shad. And I have another pack in Red Bug Shad. Both work really well. And I have... This is a jig head that I use for my curly tails. My grubs and whatnot. And I have my shaky head. I think they're both a fourth to a half ounce, somewhere around there. I don't know. And I have a couple shake heads like this. I don't know what brand this is, but if you know, please leave a comment and tell me because I really like those. And I also have Zoom Salty Super Fluke and Baby Bass. Don't really like Baby Bass color, but it's all right. And I have the Zoom Super Fluke Junior that I like to shake it in, in white pearl. Wear them out. Look. I love that. It, it just works really well. And moving on to the third. And final box, I have my assortment. Just got some grubs. Wave worm. This is the one I had as a trailer on the Booyah. It's a tiki grub. Green pumpkin, three and a half inch. I have the wave worm firecracker. Take it. Nah. I mean, it's okay. I don't really like that one. And I have the watermelon black flake. I also have my jig. Don't might be a net bait jig, I'm not sure. But the trailer for my jig is a net bait pack of chunk. Works really well. And the watermelon candy color. Uh, I like it for flipping mats. 
catch a lot of fish. Then I have Zoom Fat Alberts. Salt and pepper color. Yeah, salt and pepper. Don't really like that color. I mean, it's okay. But I have a better color. Which would be, as you might guess, from the other colors that I said I like, white pearl. I mean, it's got some damage on it from reeling in those big fish. Not really. That's from Bim. Brim. Nibbling on the tail. So that's that. That's all the boxes. So now I move on to just soft plastics. Junebug brush hogs work really well. Um, Zoom lizards, red shad. Zoom U bots. I really like these for flipping and pitching. Which they go when they go down. They have a nice action and they have that slim profile that makes it really easy. Zoom lizards and watermelon seed. Zoom baby brush hogs and watermelon gold glitter. Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss and Lime Purple Passion. Don't recommend that color. It hasn't worked out good for me. And then watermelon red brush hogs. I do like that color. Then I have my other soft plastics. My favorite worm brand would be Culprits by far. So I have the tomato color. Pretty cool little color right there. Culprit. Tomato. Seven and a half inch. And then a color that just Phenomenal around here. Love it. This is red shag green flake. Really nice. Gonna have culprit fire and ice. Take these out the bag. So blue on the top side, red on the bottom. Put it together, look to on look on the side, it's kinda well it's purple in the light, so Really nice, really nice. Like it a lot. More uh, red shad and green plate. Then I got some culprit motor oil chartreuse. I mean, it's okay, but the color starts to go away after like three or four days. And then I have some fish and delight six inch swirl tail worm. I think I might have used one out of the whole pack. Mm. Whatever. But that's really all I have in my tackle box right now. I made a big order from Tackle Warehouse. So I will do an unboxing of that, I guess. Should be coming in sometime next week. As soon as it comes in, I'll get it to you. Um, just stay tuned. Me and Luke will definitely try our best to uh, get up videos. And here's just a shimmy stick from Strike King. Works pretty well. Yeah. So like I was saying, me and Luke will try to uh, get some videos of us fishing, catching bass. We have a couple ponds. We haven't fished in a while. That we're going to try to go to. Um, so just stay tuned. And remember to subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.